what you can see here, this is a video we're going to play here. I'm going to try and run the video here for you. So this flange literally slides on. So in essence, like a slip-on flange. Uh, slide the flange onto the pipe. You do your bolt hole alignment as, as you would a weld neck flange. And then you activate the hydraulic tool. What you can see here is the cone pushing out, flaring out the segments with the ridges. It's these ridges that's doing the deformation of the pipe, creating that metal-to-metal -metal seal. Now, the video you've seen does look very simplistic, and, and it ultimately is. That's how simple the process is. Um, the biggest amount of time, generally, in a quick flange installation is the pipe preparation. So what we're looking for, as I mentioned, is a square cut, uh, a, a pipe cleanliness. So we're looking to ensure that there's no severe pitting or longitudinal or actual gouges in the pipe. Um, and then you, you would do your activation and finish off with an emery paper finish. Now, there is one procedure you're not seeing in on this video, and that's a Belzona procedure. Now, I'm sure probably uh, a lot of you are familiar with Belzona, but just, just to talk you through it, we use Belzona 1111 as a product. That product is a two-part um, epoxy compound. It's a metallic compound once it's hardened. Um, it's a machinable compound. Um, we use this, and we use it purely and only at the neck area of the flange, as a crevice corrosion barrier, because I'm sure there's many of you possibly already looked at this, this demo and wondered, you know, is there potential for crevice corrosion? Absolutely. So this is why we use Belzona 1111 as a product to prevent that at the neck area of the flange. 